If you have a pair of jeans and the hips aren't fitting quite right, it could be a way of just taking out the hip portion of your jeans. We're gonna turn your favorite straight leg jeans into barrel jeans. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am super excited to be back. I have my mojo back because we are finally in our new space. This is Blueprint Studios. Welcome. And this is the first video that we're going to be shooting in this space and I'm super excited. This is a much requested tutorial. You guys wanted to see me make these barrel jeans or horseshoe jeans and that's exactly what we're going to do. And if you do want to see like a tour of the space, I do have a vlog coming out of us thrifting and getting the space done. So definitely check that out as well. But let's get right into this tutorial. All right, for this project, you're gonna need two pairs of jeans. The first pair and the main pair you're going to need is one where the waist fits the way you want it to. This tutorial definitely isn't for like skinny jeans. It's just for relaxed fit or a straight leg jean, turning a straight leg jean into the barrel jean. And you also need another pair of jeans. You can make them match, you can make them not match. It's up to you, however you want it, whether you want it to be an accent or not. But I just got this other pair of jeans and these are gonna be my cut jeans. These can be a pair of jeans that have a spot on them, uh, something wrong with them, you know, just throw away jeans that you don't necessarily want. For your cut jeans, you also wanna make sure that they are the same or longer. It would be preferable if they are longer than the pair of jeans that you are working with. These are the same. We're gonna, you know, do our best. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut my jeans open on the side. You definitely can use a seam ripper. I don't want this to take forever, so I may just cut it. I'm probably just gonna cut it. You also want to take apart the side belt loop. Then right maybe um, two inches, one inch on each side of where we cut of the seam. We're going to, maybe two and a half inches on each side, or one and a half inches on each side. We're going to take the waistband loose because we're going to cut off a piece of this and replace it with the other pair. We have that apart and now I'm not going to cut off, I'm going to try to avoid cutting this pocket because of the rivets, but I do wanna cut this rivet off because it is definitely gonna make it hard to put these back together. Now, if I had a seam rip, perhaps that would have been okay, but I will tell you that once you get up by this pocket, seam ripping is quite difficult. So, you know, just take your time if you're gonna seam rip. But I'm gonna start down like right about the pocket area and I'm gonna cut up towards this area. I wanna leave enough for seam allowance so I don't hit that rivet. And then we're gonna just kind of taper off. That's all we want. It's just like a nice little taper. And then on the back end, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go close to the pocket, but not too close because we have to have seam allowance. And we're just gonna go straight down and kind of taper off. You don't really have to worry about that curve because we're adding, or we're definitely adding some curves back in. Okay, so we didn't cut maybe an inch off at the waistband. All right, so now we can move this to the side and work with our other pair. All right, since I know my pair is very close to the length of the pair that I'm using, I wanna cut, I wanna use the pieces where I can get the most out of. So I want to take this piece that goes all the way up right there. And the shape that you're gonna need is, it's gonna be, have to be flat on one side and curved on the other side. So we're gonna draw Draw our straight line. This line is gonna be cut. We're only gonna need about an inch over here. We want as much of this as possible because we want them to flare out. So then I'm gonna start drawing this, going straight up and out, 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 out. And then we're gonna curve it to go up. So you want a piece that is thinner up here. Remember we have about a one inch. We're gonna do one and a half because we need seam allowance or actually two because we need seam allowance on both sides. And then this as wide as we can make it. And we're gonna make that same shape to go this way as well. It would just be easier for me to cut a little pattern, huh? And you really wanna make sure your curve hits your body just right. There's a certain place where I feel like the the, the good majority. I feel like it should be more hips. So my purpose for making this pattern was just so I can flip it and see if I can get the same amount 
on the other side. Yeah, I pretty much can. But I'm gonna make that same, same mark over here. I can provide, well, for download, purchase this little piece if it helps you. Um, but otherwise, you know, you can draw the shape if you are okay with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this loose. And I'm also gonna take the waistband out just cause I want as much length as possible. So now that I have my shape cut, then I can go ahead and cut it out. Okay, now we need to cut it down the middle. All right, so what I'm gonna do on this side, now that I have the little pattern, I'm just gonna cut out as much as I can and then do the pattern because now I know I have enough. So I'm just gonna cut. All right. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Now that we're in the new space and we're safe and it's a gorgeous space now, we are gonna get back to our series of upcycling our dream pictures wardrobe. You guys have been sending me stuff, so I'm gonna start going through those, seeing what I can do with some of those inspirations and start creating videos again. And I'm super excited as well as sewing machine reviews and sewing tutorials. So if you don't wanna miss a thing, definitely hit that subscribe button. All right, back to the video. Now it's time to put these back together. You may want to mark where your pocket goes because that's gonna be important. You don't want it to end up like weird, like down there doing something weird. So, okay, it's long enough. Woo, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna clip it together. Okay, that's for the front. I'm also gonna do it for the back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this extra amount of seam cause it's just in the way. And I'm gonna line it up so that the hems are the same. If it's extra at the top, who cares? We cut that off. And then if we have to add, if it's not long enough and we had to have to add at the top, that's fine. And when I sew, I'm gonna start from the bottom as well. I wanna start from the bottom and go up to make sure that the hem lines up. That's the part I care about. And make sure that when you sew the part with the pocket, that the pocket gets into the seam. We're gonna do about a 5 8 inch seam allowance so that I can then go and serge it. If you don't have a serger, you don't have to worry. The denim will fray, but it, you know, it won't be bad but I am going to do a top stitch on top of this and that will keep, if you don't have a serger, that will keep the fray from getting braced. All right, so could have done a, top, a double top stitch to make it look like a flat fail seam, but I just decided to do a single top stitch and like this kind of tan, tannish brown thread, thick thread that matches the top stitch that's already here. Okay, so if you take apart this seam here, and add a dart, you can see that the inside seam will stay straight and then you'll just simply get the barrel on the outside. I don't want to do that because I don't want to take out the flat fill seam. Um, but if you are going to do that, now is the time because you have the jeans open. That's not something you wanna do or really can do once you close it up. So. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn these inside out, lay these flat. So we're gonna sew once again from the bottom up towards the top on both sides, just simply because I want my hem to match. And when you get to the top, what you want to make sure is that whatever seam allowance you use, that it is the same as what fits into your waistband. So this one is gonna have pretty small seam allowance in order to fit inside that waistband. And let's see, this one, this one will have a bigger, a bigger seam allowance. So you just wanna be conscious of that. All right, so now that we have our seam closed, we can tuck it back in and just top stitch it down. and then we're gonna sew that down. So that's what we got. 
right, so we are done. Let's see how we stop. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. I know that mine are super dramatic. Like the bow is dramatic, but I love that. Like the super slender top and the bow out. Now, I know that there are a lot of people that are not going to prefer these depending on your body type. I already know what you guys are gonna say, but this was much requested. So I wanted to give it to you guys because these are a popular style of jeans. And especially for me, somebody who's straight up and down, you know, gives you a little effect of curves, even though, you know, probably never have any. So. I mean, I've already had kids, so whatever I'm gonna have, I have. So this is nice. And I feel like if you don't want it as curved, just cut back. Remember when we made that pattern? Just cut back those that curve a little bit and it won't be so dramatic. You could get like a little gentle curve and it could be just a way of taking out the hip portion Ooh, it could be a way of just taking out the hip portion of your jeans. So if you have a pair of jeans and the hips aren't fitting quite right, I think this might be a great way to do that. Let me know, what do you guys think? You can alter the curve depending on your body type, depending on what you're trying to fit into the jeans. I think that that could be a really good solution. I don't know, but let me know. I, styling these was super simple because the jeans are the main event. Like they are the star of the show. So styling it was a no brainer, but I really like how this style came together. And of course the photo shoot in the new space. Like I said, if you guys are interested in seeing everything that we've done, we'll have a vlog showing us thrifting for the different things in the space. We went to Habitat for Humanity Restore as well as some thrift stores. And I love how it's coming out. We will start renting out the space for photo shoots very soon, but yeah, definitely check that out. And as always, you guys know that I have a ton of of other videos, all the way from scissors only tutorials, all the way up to the most amazing epic upcycles ever. So definitely check those out and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.